Hello. Today is. Yeah, I have no idea what day is it. Yeah, today is Thursday, and I'm now in Damasara. Just finished a meeting with Tan, MC, and Zach for the project I mentioned yesterday. So now, time to go home. So, yeah, I'm now in Damansara having a meeting with Pure Motions. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have a shot on this Saturday. So, hello, and today is 19th of October. Uh, just finished all my meeting, reach home, uh, finish all my work, and before I sleep, uh, there's one thing I would like to talk about. It's about the demonetization uh, on YouTube. And the reason, yeah, the reason why I'm concerned about it is, uh, uh, yeah, two hours ago, uh, I just published my latest vlog. Uh, it's the vlog on Tuesday or Monday. Uh, I forgot about that. Yeah, it's about the family mart and I got this icon, the limited or no ads icon, and it says it's not suitable for most advertiser. If you don't know what topic is this, then just click here and you can watch it. There's no dirty word, uh, there's no F word or whatever. Violent, no sexual issue or no sensitive issue. It's just about the family mart just open right behind my house. And that's the topic. And it says that it's not... Yeah, it's not suitable for most advertiser. I do not know who is your advertiser, YouTube. Uh, but I just think that oh, why is this video not suitable? Uh, and when I say yeah, when I go to this advertiser-friendly content guideline, ba 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 ba. Controversial issue, sensitive event, no. Drugs, dangerous product, no. Harmful, dangerous act, no. Hateful content, maybe, I, I don't know. Inappropriate language, no. Okay, never mind. So when I check about these ads, uh, that's one thing that uh, really upset me is YouTube actually allowed you to uh, request for menu review because of the automated uh, system is so they they actually yeah they actually allow you to request for menu review <sighs> this is what upset me look at here okay right now we're only able to review videos with at least 1k views in the past 7 days we will review your video when it reach that <laughs> trace hole and give you a final decision usually within a week <laughs> those of you who are new in my vlog uh, I have to be honest with all of you uh, this is a vlog 200 and oh I've been doing this for 200 days uh, daily so I only get total of 10.7k views and there's only one videos of mine, which is the Malawati Mall, is more than 1k view. The rest of it is like less than 100. So. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. 
so you say at least one care wheel in the past seven days. <sighs> yeah, yes, yeah. For those of you who are watching, uh, please watch this uh, video. Yeah, please watch this vlog as well because, because in order to get 1,000 view in the seven days, I need you to... <laughs> But I, I still don't get it why this is not advertiser friendly uh, because it's family mart so that you can't put the 7-Eleven advertisement in it or maybe put KK mart, 99 mart, whatever convenience shop. I don't know but I do remember that uh Yeah but <clears throat> but one thing which is very weird about it is, for example, uh, talk about the char grill burgers in Melati Mall. It's okay. And... What else I talk about? Yeah, this is uh, in Sukiya, the 19, yeah, the 16 plates of meat within two hours. Uh, was in, yeah, this even using, yeah, this even the energizer battery thumbnail. And... I even have a... Yeah, even have a Kika Pop soda drink here. Uh, eight tarts. Yeah, Thai food, Thai steam boot. Yeah, for your information, I've been start vlogging from March of 28 or 29. It has been 200 days from the first day I start a uh, vlog. And after 200 days, only I able to get a 10k view in total for the channel. And for me, I don't really care about the advertisement, advertiser or whatever in my channel. As long as I can create a content or video every day and that's the purpose of me vlogging because I just want to make videos. Yeah, I just want to make video every day because of my uh, working basis. I can't really make my own video every day, mostly for client or for some other people yeah so that's the reason why i start vlogging uh, from the first place uh, which is to create a content every day uh, because i just love making videos <sighs> yeah with these issues there's only one thing that will affect me uh, which is the confidence towards youtube uh, a lot of clips about the demonetizations about the golden monetize icon uh, from a lot of YouTuber. There's uh, Casey Neistat, uh, History History, uh, Philip DeFranco. Yeah, and what? And I'm actually a big fan of them and I've been watching their videos uh, from the very beginning and the reaction that they give me uh, is actually, actually decreased my confidence uh, towards you, YouTube. Uh, as a platform for everyone to upload a video to speak out uh, but it seems like uh, for the past few months at least in this year uh, I do not know about that and for those of you who are watching uh, this video please click this link uh, go to the family marts link in order to, for it to get a thousand views in seven days so that I can appeal for menu review or whatever bullshit. Oh. Yeah, however, with YouTube or without YouTube, I'll be still making videos every day. It doesn't really affect me, but I I don't know. For now, I'll be still upload my video in YouTube. And for those of you who haven't subscribed, uh, yeah, click the subscribe button, like it and share it. And... I shall see you tomorrow.